Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Let me close my balcony door because let's be real. I get shy when people outside hear me, um, but today's Friday. I'm so excited because it is going to be such a great weekend. Um, nothing exciting really going on, but I figured I would vlog. I just wanted to get content up on my YouTube channel because there is so much that's going to be going on in the next weeks months next year there's just so much going on i just had my 30th birthday so um on the 24th of november and it was such a great birthday aside from that this house has been cleaning um i did so much cleaning yesterday and i wanted to start sharing on my vlog things that are going on because there really is a lot that's going on um I want to share this with you guys also i just got i got it earlier this week it came in but my low mattress it's a king size bed came in and i'm so excited because we've been in a queen size bed for ever i've never slept in something bigger than a queen um so i'm excited to finally upgrade because we've just outgrown the queen as much as we've outgrown this apartment um and that's another thing that we're going to be moving our lease here is up in may and we have to be out of here in april so we will be moving out of this apartment because as much as I love this apartment and I love my ginormous balcony for those of you who are new to my channel, welcome. Um, if you didn't see my moving vlog, that is still up on my channel, but there is just not enough space in here anymore for us, especially because we have Bento and you know the two dogs plus the cat and me, Jeff. It's just a lot. It's a lot. We don't have enough storage space. We have the garage. Um, but we actually are going to start cleaning out the garage on Sunday, which I will film the entire process. I'm going to organize and get rid of things and then pack, um, pack up whatever is stuff that we're keeping. And yeah, I just wanted to share with you everything that's going to be upcoming because a lot of exciting things I decorated for Christmas early, like in November. I was like one of the first people to decorate for Christmas. Um, that's just always me. I like putting up my tree like November 1st. I love Thanksgiving and I'll still decorate for Thanksgiving, but I like having my tree up during Thanksgiving. Um, even though we're never really home for Thanksgiving, like we don't have our Thanksgiving dinner here. Um, but I do like to already have my tree up just because I don't like to just have it up for the month of December and then have to take it down like in January. I like to take my tree down January 1st because I like to basically start my year fresh and just take everything down and decor and like, you know, get a fresh new start to the new year. Um, but this year is going to be a little different because January, come January 1st, I'm basically packing. I'm starting to pack. Um, I want to start going through closets, getting rid of things, organizing. I want to have like a really strategic moving plan um, so that that way we're not like scrambling at the last minute to move. My goal is to have everything packed up organized in the garage literally empty out this apartment by april like beginning of april um have everything basically packed up well even like by mid-april because we basically are moving the last week of april out of this apartment so my goal is to just have everything packed up labeled correctly like nicely organized in the garage so that we don't have to like scramble at the last minute um so there's a lot going on so a lot of planning obviously behind everything so that it can happen that way and that way we can just get a u-haul truck and everything is already in the garage and probably the only thing that'll be up here last minute will be like our tv stand our tv and my bedroom like my bed that's it everything else hopefully will be out of this apartment and basically the apartment will be empty on that last week of april and the last things obviously like just last things that we'll have in here will be like what's in the fridge but i'm hoping to have like all my kitchen packed up the week before i'll pack up the whole kitchen and um everything in my closets should already be packed up by then and everything for the most part like bookshelves tv unit everything in there should already be packed up so that's my goal so a lot going on, you guys, a lot, a lot going on. We are actually going to be looking for a house to rent. We're looking for a three bedroom, two bathroom house. And basically what we're paying in rent here, we could be renting a house um, and be more comfortable somewhere where we can have an actual backyard so that we can let the dogs out. 
Anywho, yes, lots of exciting things. So I want to just vlog and start sharing more of my life um, with you guys. Not only that, but I like to be able to look back and see like all these memories that I've shared and it's kind of like home videos for myself. So it's nice to have it. And then obviously like more exciting things to come. Like Jeff and I just had four years in our relationship and obviously there's been talk about like marriage and babies and things like that. So we'll see where the next year takes us. I'm excited and I am super excited for my mattress. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm so excited. I will do a full review if you guys are interested on the mattress. Once I get it open, I will film the entire process. Um, I do have a box spring that's actually being delivered today because I don't, I honestly don't have anything other than the mattress. I don't have a frame for it. I didn't have a box spring or anything. I got the mattress and it's just sitting there since earlier this week because I don't have anywhere to put it on right now. Um, so today I have a box spring that's being delivered. And then I also have to go to my friend's house to pick up the actual metal frame because she has an extra king size metal frame that she's going to let me have in the meantime, because I'm not going to order my bedroom's uh, furniture, like actual bed frame until January. Um, so I already have like a full bedroom set picked out that I want to get ordered, but I'm going to wait till January. If I order in January, in January, I'm only going to order the bed frame because I don't want to order all this furniture to come here. I'd rather just get the bed frame at least for now. And then once we move, I'll get the two night tables, the dressers and the rest of the stuff. So um, that's what I'm thinking. Um, but I will update you guys a little later. Hey guys, so I look a little bit crazy. It's a little bit later in the day, but I'm getting ready to build my box spring for our new bed. It all just arrived. So I wanted to share this little process with you guys. So I'm gonna take apart my bed, my mattress, just flip it over to one side of the room. So I just wanna show you guys this entire process um, of me building my box spring and then Later on, we're gonna actually pick up the um, metal frame that's gonna go underneath the box spring and then we'll go ahead and open up the mattress today also. So I just wanted to share this part of the process with you guys. So I'm going to just fast play this little part. So I just finished building my box spring. It was fairly easy. It was a little confusing because there were some parts of the instructions that were very vague. So the instructions are very bland, like they don't have a lot of details on it. So whew, there was a little bit of confusion, like the poles on each end or on one end had like an open hole. So I wasn't sure if that was supposed to be facing something. It didn't, mind you, it didn't come with like any screws or anything like that. So I figured it probably doesn't matter which way I face it, but I chose a way to face them all the same way just so that it wouldn't be 
um, all different. I feel like I would feel better knowing that they're all facing the same way just in case. So I faced them all towards the back. But overall, it seems like a really sturdy box spring. I can't wait to give it a try. Um, yeah, it seems super, super sturdy. This material is super nice. It's super soft. Um, and it did have instructions like top bottom labels which was very helpful i do appreciate that because for a second there i was confused on which way the um zipper is supposed to go so um yeah it was really easy and you guys saw i put it all together all by myself so it's definitely manageable for any women out there who you know maybe need to put it together on your own i do have jeff but i just get so impatient and i want to get things done like now so I just finished putting the spring, the box spring together. I might just go ahead and go now to my friend's house to pick up the actual bed frame, like the metal frame. And now I'm trying to decide again which way we want to put the bed because I'm going to order our new bed frame in January. So originally we had, if you guys remember my videos, I had the bed on this wall. And now I'm thinking that we may, sh we may want to put it back on this wall only because I mean we can put it on this wall and it'd be fine but once we get the bed frame we'll probably end up switching it and putting it on this side only because I do want to be able to put this above the bed so um, I got this cute little sign that says uh it says I forgot what it says no matter how much I say I love you I'll always love you more than that um yeah overall I really like how the box spring came out. I got it from Walmart. I will leave a link down below if anybody, if anybody is in need of a box spring. So my room's gonna stay like this for now until I figure out um, everything else, until I get the metal frame to put in here so I can put the box spring on it, open up the mattress, and hopefully the bed will be ready by the time Jeff gets home actually because he gets off of work at 8 today. So yeah, I'm going to do that now actually. I'm going to run to her house, pick up the box, the metal frame, and then get back here and continue to do this. Um, just so that I can get it done. And that way it'll look good when Jeff gets home and he'll be able to like lay down on it and see it. So then I also have to go get a plastic wrap to protect this mattress because this one's going to go in our garage in the meantime because once we move come april this bed is going to actually go into a guest bedroom actually i just realized something i think this cover comes off so i can actually wash the cover i didn't realize that actually not a bad idea so um yeah so i'm gonna get a wrap for this this will be in our garage until then I better fix this before it damages the mattress. So yeah, I will update you guys a little later. All right, you guys, so you saw my entire process of opening up a king size low mattress on my own. I wanted to do it purposely by myself um, because I wanted to see if this was something that you were able to do on your own, if you live on your own. Um, it's definitely doable. Obviously, you guys saw me doing it. It would be a lot easier if you have two people doing it, but with one person, it is possible. Um, you just have to have a lot of strength because that bad boy with all that plastic wrap was so heavy. I literally am breaking a sweat. 
So the only thing that I was undecided on was whether I was going to put the bed back how I had it before or whether I was going to keep it where we had it now. I decided to keep it where we have it now because we just get so much space on this side of the room. And I figured, you know what, it's only going to be for a couple of months. Originally, the only reason why I wanted to switch it was because, like I mentioned before, I bought this really cute sign that I want to go over the bed. So I would have put it like on this wall here. But, I mean, I guess it really doesn't matter because, like I said, we're not going to be here. We're only going to be in this apartment for a couple more months. And the only reason why I wanted to put it there was because um, I want it to be over our new bed frame that I will be purchasing next month. But I think I'm just going to hold off on hanging this anyways because I don't know how high the backboard to the new bed will be. So I'm just not going to hang this up. I did take out the three frames that I had there only because... <laughs> I'm not a professional hanger, you guys, and I just did a terrible job. It wasn't like, it, they weren't, they weren't, they were all different levels. I just, it was driving me nuts, so I took it down. But overall, I am loving this setup. Thank goodness that my friend had that extra um, king frame for this bed because it was definitely needed. So I'm getting ready to put this mattress protector that I purchased at Target. I already washed it, um, dried it everything so i'm getting ready to just put it on my mattress and i'm not going to get on the bed yet because i want it to fully reach its potential um online it says like any like um any what's it called memory foam mattress you should leave it four to six hours obviously don't have four to six hours i just opened it what like not even 10 minutes ago so i'm gonna say 650 i opened it four minutes ago so six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it'll be four hours by the time it's 10 o'clock. So I'm going to give it to at least the four hours to inflate completely on its own without me um, getting on it. And then we'll test it out and see how it feels and all that. Buddy, I'm going, I'm going. So I'm getting ready to put the uh, protector on it. The only other thing... That I'm probably gonna have issues is is I didn't leave myself enough space on my side to put my sheets like it's gonna be an issue for me to get to those corners and add my sheets like I wish I would have maybe pushed the bed a little bit more but that's just at this point it's just gonna have to wait till Jeff gets home and he can help me take the mattress off take the box spring off move the frame add the box spring add the mattress and then so on and so forth so in the meantime oh shoot the other thing that I just thought about is that I'm really hoping, I wonder how far down my sheets go because I'm really hoping that Luna doesn't freaking scratch up this bottom frame here because it's that material and she likes to scratch. So I can't have her screwing this box spring up already when I just got it. Um, so I'm gonna have to keep an eye on her because of that. But yeah, let's test this out. I'm gonna. Let's test out me putting the mattress protector on it and see how it goes. Excuse my mess, you guys. My bathroom's a mess because I literally threw everything on the floor. But let's give this a try. I didn't end the vlog yesterday, um, but it is morning. It is the first night on our brand new King Lowell mattress. Oh my God, you guys. The sleep difference is insane on a King bed versus a Cane bed. Um, definitely a lot more spacious, a lot more comfortable. This mattress is so comfortable. It's like, it's memory foam, but it doesn't like, sink your entire body in or like it's literally first night of sleep was great the only complaint i have was my pillow we definitely need to get new pillows because um lately the way i've been sleeping these pillows are not cutting it for my neck anymore so today i'm probably gonna go get some king size pillows and a new duvet cover or like a new duvet set because um this is a queen and we definitely need a king size because jeff and i are like pulling the sheets off of each other kind of thing right now um, with the queen size comforter but I want to do a duvet set so I'm gonna do that 
but I just wanted to close out the video for yesterday because I think that one was already way too long, but I will see you guys in the next vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye guys.